been a tense encounter at the United Nations Security Council between the U.S. envoy and the Palestinian leader. Mahmoud Abbas delivered a vitriolic address on Tuesday aimed squarely at Washington for recognizing Jerusalem as the Israeli capital and claiming America is not committed to the peace process. The U.S. administration took an unlawful decision, which was rejected by the international community, to take the issue of Jerusalem off the table and to recognize the city as Israel's capital. We're ready to begin negotiations immediately in order to achieve peace and security for all in our region and the world. And here's what happened next. After finishing his speech, Abbas stood up and walked out of the meeting without waiting for the response from the U.S. envoy, Nikki Halley. Oh, he has left the room. I will address the balance of my remarks to him. President Abbas, I sit here today offering the outstretched hand of the United States to the Palestinian people, but I will decline the advice I was recently given by your top negotiator, Saeed Erekat. I will not shut up. Nikki Halley was reacting there to comments from the Palestinians' chief peace negotiator. He told her to be quiet and not criticize the Palestinian leadership. Reacting to that, the editor of the Palestine Chronicle told us that he thinks America is now becoming a third wheel in the peace process. The U.S. has lost its right to participate in any kind of international mechanism uh, that would uh, attempt to bring peace and reconciliation uh, between uh, Palestine and, uh, and Israel. They have lost the right to do so when they decided to play an unbiased, unfair, and pro-Israeli uh, uh, position. The U.S. has never been a peace and honest uh, peace broker. Mahmoud Abbas trying to send a message to the Palestinian people that after decades of pursuing this uh, frivolous uh, and, and futile peace process and nothing has uh, been achieved as a result, his message to the Palestinian people that I'm still here and I'm still fighting and I'm still challenging the American diktats and, and American foreign policy.